Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Topps Chrome Baseball. Um, six box, hobby, random team for one spot gets you two random teams. This is 2021 edition and we're chasing the mantle in this break as well like we are with a lot of breaks. No vet common ship. For the purpose of the promo, we're going to use the, uh, the original list. For the purpose of the break, we're going to double you up like Sir Mix-a-Lot. Josh, you got a spot from Aunt Nancy. She says happy birthday, early birthday. All right, there's everybody right there. All 30 teams are in, and let's roll it. Let's randomize it. One and a two, three times each. One, two, and three. All right, one and a two, three times for the teams. One, two, and three. Rockies down to Twins. So that was after three. This was after three. Dice roll was three. And here's how it shakes out. Jeremy, you got the Rockies. Nancy with the Mariners. Steven with the Padres. Joshua Taylor with the Braves. Uh, David, last spot, Mojo A's. Cassandra with the Reds. Josh P with the Angels. Jeremy with the Tigers. Devin with the Pirates. Cassandra with the Brewers. Josh P with uh, the Giants with the other spot. Cassandra with the Marlins. Jonathan with the Cardinals. David with the White Sox and Astros. Nancy with the Diamondbacks, or with the Yankees. David with the Diamondbacks, your other last spot mojo team. Cassandra with the Cubbies. Devin, you got my Dodgers. Nancy with the O's. Jeremy uh, Port with the Mets. Joshua Taylor with the Guardians. Nancy with the Blue Jays. Jeremy with the Rays. Nancy with the Nets. Stephen K with the Red Sox. Jonathan with the Rangers. Jeremy with the Royals. Nancy with the Phillies. And Jeremy Port with the Minnesota Twins. Let's alphabetize by, by team. I don't want to merge cells. I want to put them into grids, though, right here. And there we go. I'm going to pause the video for a little bit. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the break. We'll see you on the other side. All right. Welcome back, everybody. Everybody. Yeah, yeah. TWC. Trade window closed on a Tuesday. There it is. Six box, random team four. Good luck, everybody. Thanks for getting in. Appreciate you. Remember, I marked those number four so we know they're from the same case, and away we go. Got a little Willie Mays tribute going on on MLB Network on the background. Passed away today, 93. A lot of baseball on the Tuesday. All scores are final. Uh, Royals were in Oakland. A's beat the Royals 7-5. Zach Geloff had a, a no-doubter, a three-run three homer, one of the young up-and-coming prospects for the, uh, the A's. Brewers beat the Angels in Anaheim 6-3. Sal Freelick had a game-ending home run robbery. My Dodgers, who were down by five going into the ninth inning, top of the ninth in Colorado, scored seven, and ended up winning the game 11 to nine. Jason Hayward had a pinch hit grand slam. Teoscar Hernandez had a three run homer that put the Dodgers up top. One of the craziest ninth innings that I've seen in a very, very long time. Astros only managed, or White Sox only managed two hits against the Astros in Chicago. But they won, 2 nothing. <laughs> Dansby Swanson had a two-run homer for the Cubbies. They beat the Giants in Chicago 5-2. to 
Pete Alonso delivering a go-ahead double in the ninth inning. Mets uh, squeak past the Rangers 7-6 to six in Texas. Uh, a walk-off from Carlos Santana in Minnesota. They beat the Rays 7-6. to six. And uh, Braves beat the Tigers 2-1. to one. And then we'll go through a few of the other games in the next box. There's JT Real Muto. And away we go. There's our first of two autographs per box. That's Jimmy Lambert, rookie auto for the White Sox. That's going to go to David, David F. With the White Sox. Tariq Skubal, who is your current favorite for AL Cy Young, believe it or not. Let me dust off some of your Tariq Skubals if you didn't realize that. Now with Bohm, rookie card, having a nice year with the Phillies. One rookie of the year, Nancy with that one. And here's your other autograph, the Franken Colome. Blue Chrome rookie auto for the Mets. Jeremy Port with the Metropolitans. That's 14 out of 150. Here's our two autos. All right, Mountcastle, Jesus Sanchez refractor, not numbered. I think autograph refractors are numbered. Then we've got some green, Key Brian Hayes, 79 out of 99, Pirates. That's going to be for Devin and the Buckos. All right, there's our first box. Second box. Tyler O'Neill had a game time 408 foot home run in Toronto. Red Sox beat the Blue Jays 4 to 3. The Yankees beat the Orioles 4 to 2 with Anthony Rizzo on the shelf for a little while. Uh, they called up, I don't know if I've ever seen a lot of his rookie stuff or any of his stuff in previous product, but uh, Ben Rice was called up. And, uh, and had a hit in his debut. Yeah, he went one for four. Yeah, he was a 12th round pick back in 2021. So, I mean, I guess we'd have to go back to 2021 Bowman or Bowman draft. Maybe he was in there. 12th round, maybe not, but I don't know. Maybe for a Yankee, maybe. Uh, Diamondback shut out the Nationals 5-0. Kettle Marte with a two-run home run. I feel like he's having a nice season. I feel like he has one nice season, one off season, one really nice season off. But this year playing really well. Uh, Mariners beat the Guardians 8-5 in Cleveland. Dylan Moore with a homer. Uh, Padres are in Philadelphia. Phillies won 4-3. Nick Casianos walked walk-off homer for the Phillies. A lot of walk-offs today. Reds beat the Pirates 2-1 in Pittsburgh. Spencer Steer, Robin Homer. And another walk-off. This time in extra innings. In Miami. In 10 innings. Marlins beat the Cardinals 9-8 on a Vidal Brujan walk-off hit.
talking to Willie Mays in the background. We'll take a look at his baseball reference page in the next box. I mean, the, the numbers are pretty, uh, pretty strong. Is Max Freed, 64 out of 99. Josh Taylor with the uh, Braves. And another Brave, Tucker Davidson. Rookie auto for the Braves. Here's a Josh Bell. That's a cool photo right there. 23 out of 25. Orange parallel for the Pirates. That's going to go to Devin. Here's a Bobby Dalbeck refractor. That's going to go to the Red Sox, Stephen K. Here's Bobby Dalbeck again. And a purple Trevor Rogers autograph, purple chrome. That's going to go to the fish. That's for Cassandra and the Marlins. 213 out of 250. I feel like he's having a, a decent season this year, a solid year this year so far. Clark Schmidt was having a nice year before he went down with an injury. I don't think he'll be back until after the All-Star break. Third box of the six box break. Willie Mays, born May 6, 1931, passed away today, June 18th, 2024. Hall of Famer, obviously. Um, he was, yeah, no doubter. First ballot, 1979, 94.7% of the vote. Away, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that he first only met Vin Scully in 2016. Like out of all these years, like, kind of like random, right? They've never like met before, you know. You would figure they would have. You would think the Dodgers played the Mets in the late 70s, like yeah. late in his career in the 70s, and they would have ran into each other. But well, I just figured over the years. I don't know if that's the rivalry. You know, I mean, maybe him going to the ballpark, calling the game, and something like that. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, it was pretty cool because it would, just sound like he has always been his favorite player. Or, uh, it's just kind of crazy to think about. You think that some award ceremony or some party or something they would have run into each other? Yeah, Jason was saying Vince Scully also R.I.P. Well, yeah, maybe. The never met ran into Willie Mays in person, I think, until the early 2000s or something like that, which is kind of weird. I think Vince Gully told that story himself. Hall of Famer, two-time MVP, Rookie of the Year, 24-time All-Star, 1954 World Series winner, 12-time Gold Glover, won a batting title, two-time All-Star MVP, back when I think those All-Star games were pretty competitive. Ended up with a 156.2 wins above replacement, which I think is among tops in the in Major League Baseball. 3,293 hits, 660 home runs, a lifetime 301 batting average, 2000, over 2,000 runs scored, almost 2,000 RBIs. He had 1,900. 339 stolen bases and an OPS of one, of 940. And an OPS plus of 155. 100 is average. So I guess you could say his OPS was 55% better 
than your average big leaguer. I think, uh, yeah, won Rookie of the Year, then won his first MVP uh, in his what looks like his second full season. And then he didn't win an MVP. That was at his age 23 season. He didn't win another MVP until his age 34 season. But finished fourth, uh, fourth, fourth, second, sixth, third, sixth, second, fifth, sixth, first, third the following year. And even got some votes in his age 40 season. Um, you know, 19th in MVP voting, age 40 season. That's pretty, that's pretty good, that age. There's Yohan Mankata, blue chrome to 150. And we got Nick Madrigal, gold wave, white socks. That's going to be for David. Forty-two out of fifty. Ooh, nice full lives there, though, Nancy. Dad's going to be ninety in July. Mother would have made it till eighty-seven, but she passed out. Rest in peace. 87 also, also a full life, but, all, but still, nevertheless, sad. But yeah, much, much better place. It's Jonah Heim, rookie auto for the A's. That is for David. Last spot mojo, striking again. Get our second auto yet? Oh no, it was the Nick Madrigal and the Jonah Heim. There's two, four, and six. We're three boxes through. Your, your parents probably saw the saw the heyday of the Say Hey Kid. And they were kids. Now let's. Yeah, we were talking about wins above replacement. I know. What if I tell you? 150, 156, you know, wins above replacement. You're like, all right, but Joe, give me context. You know, so for context, he's fifth overall in Major League Baseball, career wins above replacement. The only players better than him, Babe Ruth, 182.6 wins above replacement in his career. Uh, Walter Johnson. The, uh, the pitcher, 166.9. Cy Young at 163.9. Barry Bonds, 162.8. And Willie Mays, 156.2. Ty Cobb and Henry Aaron, Roger Clemens, Trish Speaker, Honus Wagner round out the top 10 right behind them. And he is, he is sixth on the home run list. Barry Bond, 762. Henry Aaron, 755. The Babe with 714. Pujols with 703. A-Rod, 796. There's Willie Mays, 660. And the guy's voice you're hearing in the background, Kevin Griffey Jr., 630. Tome at 612. Sosa at 609. Frank Robinson, 586. That's your top 10.
All right, next box. We're halfway through the break. Nancy was saying it's time for a Yankees and Angels auto. Here's an Angels auto. Rookie auto, Jemai Jones. Joshua. Josh's spot from Aunt Nancy. Gets the Angels auto. Not sure what he's up to these days, but there he is today. Clark Schmidt Refractor. We'll save one of these. He's having a nice year. Was having a nice year. Yankees. Nancy. Hopefully he'll bounce back soon. Should be coming back after the All-Star break. We got our first auto of the box. Looking for our second auto of the box. And there it is. That's Jorge Mateo. Padres. That's going to go to Stephen K. And the Padres. Jeter would be nice. Is, is he on this checklist, 2021? I feel like he didn't sign for a while. You're 63 at 99, Andres Jimenez, Mets edition. That's for Jeremy Port. Next one, well, we got Luis Robert Ronald Cunha Jr. If we can get a Derek Jeter, though. Oh, yeah, he's on the uh, product page. Yeah, so I guess he is. I think this might have been, I don't know, my, my memory is a little shaky, as always. But um, I want to say for years, he was not a regular autograph in the... Uh, in like Topps products. But it had to be 20, around this year, I wanna say 2019, 2021 maybe, 2020, somewhere in there, he kind of, I don't know, they, they must have struck a deal, obviously with Topps, and he became a, a, a more regular feature in product. And yeah, on our product page, he's got a captain's clock, relic and autograph. So let's do it. It'd be, be a hell of a break. What else have we got about Willie Mays? R.I.P. Willie Mays. Post playing career, he retired as a Met. Stayed with the Mets at a hitting as a hitting instructor. Apparently missed several appointments during these years and was often absent from Mets games and threatened to be fired. And I guess I mean when you're as popular as as Willie Mays. Uh, baseball commissioner Bowie Kuhn. Uh, and Mays' lawyer intervened because the Mets GM threatened to fire Willie Mays. And then the, they intervened, and then the Mets agreed to keep Willie Mays on as a coach as long as he stayed at home games for at least four innings. Imagine that happening today. This is in 1979, or 1975, I think. In October of 1979, Mays took a job as the Bally's Park Place Casino at the Bally's Park Lake Casino in Atlantic City. 
He was special assistant to casinos, president, and a and a greeter. That that could that that would get people to to the casino. After being told by Kuhn, the baseball commissioner at the time, uh, which makes sense, that you can't be part of both baseball and a casino, Mays terminated his contract with the Mets and he was banned from baseball. Mays was banned from baseball. Kuhn was concerned about the Kun Kuhn was concerned about. K-A-K-U-H-N, if I'm not careful with that word, that could be dangerous, was concerned about gambling infiltrating baseball, but Hirsch points out Mays' uh, role was, I think Hirsch must have been the, the casino owner, points out that Mays' role was merely as a greeter and was not allowed to place bets. And the casino did not engage in sports betting. In 1985, less than a year after replacing Kuna's commissioner, Peter Ubroth, uh, decided to allow Mays to return to baseball. That's some good trivia. Oh, nice. Devin, Devin also saying the Mick also got banned at the same time for casino hosting. Man, look at these guys towing the line. That's some good trivia. Clark Schmidt for the Yankees. 182 out of 199, Yankees. I'm not sure uh, what the cause of death was for, for, for Willie Mays. There's Mitch White, Dodger rookie, going to Devon. Mays was named special assistant to the president and general manager of the Giants in uh, 1986. Signed a lifetime contract with the team in 1993. Helped muster public enthusiasm for building their new ballpark. I guess I was uh, listening to the Ken Griffey Jr. interview on MLB Network, and Ken Griffey was saying he was supposed to go, you know, because he kind of grew up with Willie Mays, his dad obviously in the league, and that uh, more of a contemporary of Willie Mays. And here's Monty Harrison for the uh, uh, Marlins. That's our second auto, Cassandra. So he was saying he was supposed to go see, you know, Willie Mays a few weeks ago, but he was told, uh, eh, he's got a rest, he's not feeling well, blah, 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 blah. But according to Wikipedia, uh, he passed away of heart failure at a, at a care home in Palo Alto in Northern California. There's Ryan Mountcastle, Nancy with the O's. Which at that age, I, I would imagine, there's Luke Voigt to 399 for Nancy of the Yankees. Heart failure at 93 years old, long life there, and that's just probably as natural cause as you can get. I'm, but I don't think he was, there was a specific, specific health issue. Doesn't say. Last box. Uh, Willie Mays have any kids? Mays became the third husband of Marguerite Wendell Chapman from, uh, in 1956. And they adopted. They adopted a five-day-old baby named Michael in 1959. They separated in 62 and divorced in 63. And Michael went with his mom for the majority of the time. Eight years later, Mays married May Louise Allen, a child welfare worker in San Francisco. Wilt Chamberlain had given Mays her phone number in 61. They dated on and off for the next several years until they got married. In 1997, so I guess they were, they were, they were together for a while. 1997, she was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. 
and then Maze cared for her until her death in 2013. Godfather Barry Bonds, his father's Bobby Bonds. Glaucoma forced Maze to stop driving a car and playing golf after 2005. James Hirsch, oh, that's the journalist, uh, wrote in, uh, in the New York Times on 2021 that he wasn't blind, but his vision was com compromised, still able to watch games on television with, with some difficulty. And then I guess in 2020, he's been in Atherton with his personal assistant and Kate, caretaker. Yeah, Rex, I mean, you know, one day you're, you're, you're living life fine, next thing your heart just gives out. That's life, man. That's why, that's why you got to spend every day, you know, not, not you as you, but like one has to spend their li their, each day of their lives as best as possible. I mean, you can, every, you know, you have more of a chance every time you get into a motor vehicle. You know, your life could be snatched away in a flash. You know, that's why you gotta live the very every day to be spent as best as possible. There's Ryan Castellani. Rockies, that's going to be for Jeremy Port. There's a Lourdes Gurriel Jr., 97 out of 199. It's going to go to Toronto, that'll be for Nancy. And we got one more auto. Even if we don't find one here, I did load up another half case break. We got another one. Glaber Day, 16 out of 25. Orange Wave for Nancy. And the Yankees, not quite Derek Jeter. And the last autograph is also not quite Derek Jeter, but it's a nice one. Dylan Carlson, rookie auto for the Cardinals. Jonathan with the Red Birds. There we go. We've got another thing coming up here. What do we got here? Oh. <laughs> Here's the Jeter, but not the autograph. Captain's Cloth, Derek Jeter. Wow, really close. Maybe you should have specified uh, Jeter Auto. Maybe the hobby gods misunderstood. Got a little bit of the pinstripe right there as well. John called it too. Almost. All right. And that, my friends, is that. Yeah, we'll take the relic. We'll take the relic. Why not? All right, you know what else we'll take? We'll take an entry into the Chase the Jeter promo. All right, so let's gather. So there's one we're giving away. So let's gather up everybody's names. New dice, new, oh, we're using the original. See, I set this up ages ago. We're using the original uh, 15 right here. So let's roll it. Odds are the same. Uh, if we use the double bliss or not. Three and a five. Eight times. Name on top after eight. 
gets an entry into the Mantle promo. Check out the details on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. It's Cassandra. After three and a five, eight times, congrats to you. You've got an entry into the Chase the Mantle promo on jazbeescasebreaks.com. All the details are on the website as well. Check it out, or you can go to, uh, what's the website? You can go to themantlechase.com as well for more details. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.